So you get a letter from a lawyer or somebody else accusing you of copyright infringement. And you say, well, I didn't do this because my web designer did it or some contractor that I used uh, did whatever I'm being accused of here. Are you going to be liable? I'm Mike Steger. I'm a copyright and trademark attorney. And today we're going to talk about various kinds of liability for copyright infringement. Um, run into these cases all the time. I'm usually representing the intellectual property owner who's accusing someone of infringement. And a lot of times I'll send a letter and then I get, well, I'm not responsible for that. My web designer did it. And you are responsible for it because it's on your website. You own the website that posts the infringing material. Uh, there are ways that your agent or a contractor that you use can impute liability to you. Uh, one is under what's called the, the uh, law of agency. And what that is, if someone is acting as your agent, they are acting uh, within their scope of authority on your behalf and for your benefit, even if they're not your employee, they're some kind of independent contractor, you're getting the benefit of their services, you're liable. Uh, the other is what's called vicarious liability, and that can be imposed even if the relationship is a little more attenuated. Maybe there's not even a contract uh, between the uh, agent and the principal, but it's a situation where the um, principal, which would be you as the business owner, has the right to exercise authority over what, um, what the agent is doing. Even if you don't exercise that authority, if you have the right to do that, to approve or disapprove of what they're doing. And also you have a financial benefit in what they're doing. So, you know, somebody's coming up with marketing materials for you. Somebody's engaging in a sales campaign on your behalf. Uh, you can be vicariously liable. For that. Uh, these issues come up all the time. A lot of times the business owner is not necessarily the one who posts the infringing material, but at the end of the day, they're probably still going to be liable. And if your uh, web designer is in somewhere in Eastern Europe or overseas somewhere, nobody's going to be able to get a hold of them. You're going to be the one holding the bag. Uh, I'm Mike Steger. I'm a trademark and copyright attorney. If you have any questions about your potential liability uh, for copyright infringement, give me a call.